Hi friends, welcome to our session. So in this session, let us have a look on the importance of this keyword. So where we will use this keyword? This keyword is used to represent the instance variables of current object. So we know that so every class will have the variables and the methods and the variables are of two types the local and instance and the static three, three types of variables we have seen in the previous sessions. So coming to this uh, instance variables these are the variables declared inside the class but outside the method. So these are the instance variables in order to access these instance variables that can be done only through the object so that we are uh, going on uh, discussion in every session right. So in order to access the instance variables of a class that must be <coughs> done by using this keyword. Right. So by default, the compiler will. So if you are printing this, let us take an example so that your doubt will be clarified. So just a class A, I am taking some int A is equal to 10 and I am writing one method. So why display? Just I want to display this 10 inside the method. So directly I can access it, right? So no, no need of uh, creating any object for this one. System dot out dot println a, right? So in that another class uh, we can write the main method, okay? So this will display 10, right? So just we are writing the variable name, but compiler will treat this as this dot a this represents the variable is of current class or current object the variable depends on i mean variable is represented of the current object or a current class so by default it will be treated as this dot a but explicitly the user need not write this one this dot a in every case right but there are some cases where we have to write particularly the, this keyword, where we have to use this keyword. So let us see the problematic case. So let us take this example only. If the method is also having the same variable, int a is equal to 20. Int a is equal to 20. Right? So here, this a is different from this a. Because this one instance variable, this is local variable, this is the local variable, right? And this method can access the instance variables also, isn't it? So this method can access the instance variables also. So in the previous way, we are just printing a, we are not having any local variable, directly 10 will be printed. And now we are having two variables, one is local variable and another one is the instance variables, right? Both are having the scope. So which one it will be displayed? So it will display just 20, that means the first preference will be for the local variables. So the same concept for as we have seen in C programming that global variables and local variables. So if the global variables and the local variables are sh sharing the same name, the first preference will be given to the local variables. And if you want to print both the local variables and global variables, that is not possible in C language. But here we can display the local variables and instance variables by using this keyword. Now let us write 
वन मोर स्टेटमेंट सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एल एन इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग ये दिस डॉट ए सो दिस रिप्रेजेंट्स दिस कीवर्ड रिप्रेजेंट्स इंस्टेंस वेरिएबल इट्स एन इंस्टेंस वेरिएबल सो नॉर्मल ये रिप्रेजेंट्स लोकल वेरिएबल so in the absence of the statement directly we can get a 10 because there is no variable with the name a so directly we will get 10 so in the presence of this statement now the compiler will get ambiguity that there are two variables with the same name one is the instance variable one is the local variable so which would which one we have to print so this is a local variable and if you want to print the instant variable we have to use this keyword by using this keyword we can you we can print the instance variable hope you understood this uh, importance of this keyword so it is a representation of the current object so not every time we will write this uh, keyword but sometimes in such cases or some problematic cases we will have to use the keyword this to represent the current object variables Right? So let us see the implementation part in the system so that your doubts will be clarified. Hello friends. Uh, let us see the implementation of this keyword. Just we will write one class. Class. This demo. And we will take one instance variable. Some a is equal to 10 and we will write one method void display so we'll just print that that variable in this system dot out dot print ln a right so let us write the main function also in this class public static void main the command arguments We have to create a constructor, I mean object, in order to access the display method. This term, this demo obj is equal to new. This demo here, this is a default constructor. Call this object dot display function. Right. So we have to save this. This demo dot java. Now let us execute this one. Java C this demo dot compile successfully compiled. Now let us execute by using Java. Java this demo. So 10 is printed here. So if you observe here, the 10 is printed here. Now actually implicitly the compiler will treat it as this dot a see again once again we will compile and execute so again 10 is printed so we are not writing this this keyword but the compiler will treat it as a this dot a because that is representing current object so here let us see the problematic case if it our local variable is also having the same name with the value some 200 and we are printing the same it will take a, only the local variable so 200 will be printed so the instance variable is not printing we are not printing the instance variable so the value of local variable is printing here hope you understood this one so now the compiler will get a dilemma that uh, both the variables are having the same name and the display function can access both the variables both the instance variables and the local variables so here by default it will take it as a local variable and if you want to print the instance variable we have to use the this keyword see print this dot a so if i exe execute here i can get both values instance variables and the local variables see local variable 
is equal to a instance variable is equal to this dot a now if you execute so we can get all those things i mean the both the variable values so local variable is equal to 200 the instance variable is equal to 10 so we know that local variable is 200 and instance variable 10 so this is the importance of this keyword it always represents the variable of uh, belongs to the current object the variable belongs to the current object right hope you understood this one so if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and thanks for listening and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you thank you very much